I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Steffi, and today I'm bringing you back to Port. Such a fun vlog. It's actually Saturday, and today is the day of my sister's graduation party, which is so fun. But obviously, me and my sister, being the working girls that we are, say hello, so. Hello, guys. Um, we are running a morning clinic at our clinic. Well, by morning, I mean it end, It should end by 1.30 and then we have the party starts at 3 o'clock. I don't think anyone will actually show up at 3, right? No one, no one's no, going to be there by 1.30, I don't think. So hopefully you'll give us some time to get ready. That being said, my dress is also being altered because it's too long. And when I say altered, I mean my mum is cutting the bottom of it. Believe it or not, my mum and dad are actually really good with like clothing and like altering stuff, etc. Because way, way back in the day, they used to be in the fashion industry fun fact so anyway they are fixing my dress up I thought I'd bring you guys along and because it's gonna be such a like random manic fun crazy day I haven't even done my hair yet imagine so I need to go home my hair is like half wet still because I had a shower this morning I faked hands last night and then I'm gonna fake tan again like I'm gonna use the you know the Saint Tropez the watermelon cream Sol is just in the back just drinking the latte. Sorry guys, I got most of it on myself. Oh yeah, so I was already spilled iced latte all down her. Um, quite fun. But we've got um, iced soy lattes with sugar-free hazelnut syrup. Which is always liking, so I thought I'm trying it. I like it a lot. Sebi recommended it, it's really nice. I think that I have soy good milk, sugar-free hazelnut syrup. Iced coffee, iced latte. Well, it is 10... Oh, it's bang on 11. Our next client should be here for 11. So I just thought, quickly pick up the camera and say, hello, welcome to the vlog. How annoying does this eyelash look? Oh no, it looks better. It's more close up. I got eyelash extensions three weeks ago and literally all of them fall out. I've got one on each they eyelash. So well, they were they? awful. I'm not paying 85 pounds to my eyelashes again. Even though I used to get them done all the time. Yeah. I look so summery. Also, my outfit, how cute. I'm wearing like a white crop top from Brandy Velma. These Zara jeans, which are so long like so oh my god so ah! fail um yeah the zara jeans so long and then i got this zara blazer which is so cute hopefully i'll get a picture in it later when i am going with so we're gonna quickly run into selfridges there's something she needs to change i honestly can't believe all the things we think we're gonna plan on doing in one morning here we are okay brb so Sol and I finished our morning clinic. We are running into Selfridges. We have, you know, you remember that I bought her a pair of Christian Le Vuittons in, I think it was the last vlog. Um, they're slightly big for her, so we have to change them. That's what we're doing now. I also got some super cute outfit pics with my red blazer and then left it in the car because it is way too hot for a red blazer. I had to change shoes, guys. Sol's in flats. I don't even, I didn't bring flats, but I wish I did because I'm gonna be in heels for the rest of the day and that swearing at myself. Mine reasoning behind it. Yeah, so you're more intelligent than me. One second, so I can mm -hmm. time my... So we've come to get Sina's graduation present from Van Cleef and Sol is very scared that she is going to... Guys, I'm wearing white. Look at the colour of the chair. <laughs> and Mother Nature's Calling. <laughs> Called, knocked on my door, I've got the gift. <laughs> I'm petrified. And everywhere we go, they keep inviting me to sit down on the very white, white chair. chair. Anyway, we're going to pick the gift and we'll get her to open it on her vlog so you guys can see um, on her special graduation vlog yeah. what it is. But we love you, Signs, if you're watching this and you're worth a million times more your Definitely. achievement is worth a million oh times God, more of whatever yeah. we could I ever buy you it, i want to cry i know so we were so we have arrived guys this beautiful marquee is all set up everything tables chairs all from alpha marquees they are absolutely incredible i'll put their act on the screen they did the dance floor the marquee how beautiful is this for a summertime outdoor garden party? I am absolutely obsessed. And then the personalized dance floor that says Sina's graduation on it. Guys, Sina's name means Phoenix, so that's why there's a Phoenix logo.
last time she was on my vlog, we were so drunk planning on getting a house together. <laughs> we were actually on that day, we still want that house. But um, we want somewhere that like is like for summer and all the places that are police are like long term. If there's any landlords out there, hit us up. But we want like cute, modern, nice flats, like yeah. So, but some broad tempura, some rock shrimp. I think Lily do everything with me, and she never says no. I love her. Cheers. Cheers. She's kind of like Asiatic, cool down, what? <laughs> So I've just come back from the gym. I this is my cute little workout. I've got the new stuff from Bow and Tea. Um, I always do this where I like half show. This my little cute new gym outfit from Bow and Tea. I really like it. I like Bow and Tea stuff. I like pink. I like gym gear. It makes me want to work out. Um, work out. Work out. Work out. Okay. I actually need to calm down. I don't know why I'm so energetic. Um, but basically, just got myself some lunch. Um, I just got myself some lunch. Let me put my let me put you back on my bed. Hold on. So I just got myself some lunch from MS and to be honest, I feel like um I eat now normal sized portions and I can't finish all my food again, which is makes sense because that is what I used to be like when I was healthy. Now I like I've gone back to my old me, whereas lockdown me would eat like 10 times the normal amount that a human should be eating. I don't know what was going on with me. We're going to blame it on the lockdown, okay? Side effects of COVID-19, overeating and indulging. But whatever it is, what it is. Anyway, let me... There's something I need to kind of update you guys on, um, which is kind of why there was a delay with my last vlog and why I didn't really like post in the past like week or so. It was mainly like... A, I had a really, really long week. I had, I was working five days, and of those five days, four days I'm on call. And loads of people think, oh my god, when you're on call, it basically means that like you sit at home and they call you in if they need you. No, in my hospital and in the UK, being on call means you are in the hospital and you are working instead of a regular day, you are working a 12 to 13 hour shift. That is what being on call means. It means you're working more. You're not sitting at home waiting for a phone call. Like, I wish it was that chill. It's not. There's some like surgical like on calls and stuff that are. Are more like that where you're waiting for a patient to come in like you might be like free for like an hour or you're like, running very busy or whatever but no this medical on call means you're constantly like running around for 13 12 to 13 hours and i had four days like that last week and a normal regular working day as well which was crazy and in the middle of it i went out for my friend amelia's birthday last week wednesday we went to Chotto mate in soho which by the way the food was absolutely incredible so i message all my girls group chats being like oh my god we've been sleeping on soho so so amazing it's so fun it was so busy it was so vibrant like i loved the energy the food was so good so i was like messaging all my girls group chats being like oh my god we need to go to soho sorry for the background noise i am trying to get my family to like be quiet but you guys know my family are never ever quiet anyway so i was messaging the girls group chat like oh my god Soho's so good blah blah, blah. anyway the end of the night comes it's about 10 30 um we had dinner and then nabi and i had work the next day so we were like okay we're gonna leave and then we left amelia and her fiance and a couple of friends um at, at in soho and we w walked kind of towards like a main road where we can get a taxi and um i was like standing on the street corner like trying to either stop a black cab because it was rain it started to rain so like taxis weren't stopping and like ubers were like really long like there was like a 15 minute wait for an uber or they kept cancelling like it was so bad so i was like on my phone trying to like book an uber and i like had like my handbag on me like on this arm and i was on the street corner and nabia was kind of like standing like 10 meters behind me like in a in a door frame like that because her she didn't want her hair to get wet because she got a fresh blow dry and anyway um i was like trying to book an uber on my phone stuff like that whatevs and some guy runs up from behind me and like grabs my arm and sorry i probably should put trigger warnings like if you don't like if you if this triggers something i'm really sorry so you know don't listen for the next few minutes um but yeah he grabs he came up from behind me grabbed my arm trying to pull like my bag off my arm and like trying to pull my phone and to be honest i didn't even realize what was going on and like as stupid as it sounds i think like sometimes in the moment like 
you know when you like go to restaurants or something and sometimes like randomly like guys will try and like grab your arm like let's say you go bagatelle like they'll try and grab your arm to like dance with you or something or like random strangers I don't know so I think I was just like thinking like what is this guy doing like I'm so confused and then I was holding my phone so tight I was putting my phone putting my phone and then eventually he ran away with my phone and it was about four or five seconds after him seeing him running and me being like what the hell just happened I turned around to Nabi and I was like Nabi I just got mugged and then Abby's like, what? So she starts running after the guy, and like, I was like, that was so stupid, like, we really shouldn't have, like, done that. But then two other really, really lovely guys, so sweet, like, young boys, I think they were like, they said they were like 20, um, they were like, oh my god, like, did he touch you? Like, they were so worried that, like, I'd been, like, assaulted, and they started, like, trying to run after the guy, and I was like, no, don't worry, like, he didn't touch me or anything, he basically just mugged, mugged me on my phone, um, and the guy basically got away, um, so that's kind of the long story short and to be honest I, I was crying a lot afterwards I think because it's like after afterwards it kind of hits you like what the hell just happened and I was also really angry at myself for not just letting everything go naturally but like you, your instincts like kick in a bit later I think that's why I let go of my phone because like it took me five seconds to be like oh wait something's like you're getting mugged like let go because my parents have always taught me from a young age if anyone tries to mug you if if, any, if you're ever getting burgled or whatever just let go of what, whatever you're holding and give it to them because your life is much more important than like your possessions and so I was crying because I was like I can't believe I didn't just let go of everything like why why was my natural instincts like hold on to my items um but yeah I'm I'm completely fine um it was a bit traumatic it was more than a bit traumatic I'm not gonna lie because like it's just weird like I think it's just such a violation and it's horrible that it still happens and even in London or whatever but yeah that's basically what happened to me and um yeah I don't want to like I don't want to give like negative vibes I just thought like you guys should know like that's why like I haven't really been posting because like to be honest it, it took me like a day to like set up like I had to get my old phone out my drawer and then my insurance has sent me my new phone it's like somewhere here but I've been on call for so many days that I haven't even had a chance to set up my phone or my cards or anything so I've literally just been living off of one of like someone in my family's like extra cards and like my old phone like it's all just been oh, it's been a lot to say the least but um thank god like i'm fine and i think that's all that matters like i just it, it it's given me so much time this week to like reflect like to be honest i've had quite like a, i had quite a crap week last week and it gave me even though i had such a crap week like i think i stayed so positive throughout it and i think it was just because i was just thinking like i really believe like a in like energy and like putting out positive vibes and like always being grateful for everything but i could sit there and like be like upset about like a rubbish week or i could just be like thank god that i've like survived this week and like it could have been much worse and i hope that like i only get better weeks in the future and yeah like i just think when be careful when you go out as well like i know it's like it's a crappy thing like i don't really know I know it's a crappy thing to think about and I never really used to think about but um yeah just be very very careful when you go out and also like be careful how you like approach people like if you're going up to someone let's say you want to chat to them just be careful be mindful that like, they might have gone through something traumatic like me like if someone taps me from behind now I think I'd freak out I'd rather like someone came up to me from like the front um so yeah just be be mindful of people around you and stay positive and you'll have an amazing 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 week i hope that everyone has a good week now i'm in a much better mood yeah i'm just happy and grateful and blessed and yeah i think i'm gonna stop chatting rubbish i think i've been chatting rubbish for ages now but yeah i just thought i'd tell you that little story time um also i think my skin is actually doing bits it's doing bits a good thing i never know i love that i said that and i just noticed in the camera now something looks like it's coming up here but um no i think it looks good eyebrows on fleek so you know fake tan bottles say don't put fake tan on your face what happens if you actually put the fake tan on your face because i haven't washed it off yet but wow it is coming up patchy um so i'm going out tonight i don't know why every time i say it, i'm going out tonight it reminds me of have you guys seen that meme by young ads where he's like going on a date tonight even though i'm not going on a date i'm going out with the girls but it is a date but it's not a date also how cute is this wait let me show you how cute this little nude moment is love it model model i look like a zara model like flop over 
pose. Anyway, okay, so in the meantime, I actually have some work stuff to do. I can't cope with how patchy this fake tan is coming up. I have some work stuff to do, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'll catch up with you once I look a bit better and have washed off this fake tan. No, I'm so annoyed. I know I said I won't come back until I've washed off this fake tan, but I've opened up the replacement phone that my insurance has sent me, and um, look at this, please. It is the wrong colour. It's the blue, matchy fuming. And I called them, they said we don't cover for colour. So I'm actually vexed. And okay, so it means I'm gonna have to get a case, which is fine, whatever. But I just realised I don't have the front screen protector. So I can't even take it out now. Because imagine if I take it out and I drop it and I crack the screen, I will be fuming. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it out. I wonder if sina has got a random extra screen protector. My dad doesn't have one, just asked him. Anyway, these are like random thoughts. Okay, I'm gonna come back once I've washed this off. My towel, but I think we should do like one of those like cute hot girl transitions where I go from like this to bam. We ready to go. I'll show you my outfit when I'm out because my friends have been waiting for me outside for 20 minutes. They're gonna kill me. She got the Chiba Zani. Who said this? There we go. So we are actually have dinner reservations at Monkey House, but we've come to Harry's first because we're like 45 minutes early and we have some drinks. But we lied that we want to eat food as well because they wouldn't give us a favour. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna die. Have they got truffle fries? Bro, there is no one more dramatic. Can we get truffle fries? Oh, truffle fries is only five minutes. It's because, Didus, I gave you the best truffle fries. Did you guys see the bloody story of the What? What? Say it. I love you, PM. Tell my vlog why you're so tired. I wanted to go shopping and I'm still in the same outfit as last year. Picture. <laughs> wow. Do you want to you? Uh, I'm just eating my bread and my own I feel like I wasn't filming this whole time. What are we choosing to? To me. <laughs> <laughs> to health and well, happiness. Happiness. She got fear. Say it again. Never come to Harry for a hot dog. It's like a pasta and food. Bad <laughs> Can you bother? Molly Tucci bother. I like anything. I'm sitting here sipping champagne and someone just asked me if I want to go to a spin class. I hope Monkey House has music. We're going Monkey House next, by the way, guys. And I really hope it has does have music. Yeah. I'm hungry. I want some food. Right. So we've come to Monkey House. And this girl has whipped out a game. Are you okay? Here you go, Persia. Funny. Mama, well, why can't I roll it off? Please, LB, tell me this is not normal. I've never so, it what is this? We're going to roll it until one of us gets six and then you can come out of your house. All this meat here, but I'm going to go in the same time. 